One of the most basic types of motion that you might be called upon to animate is the motion of a simple pendulum. There are lots of different kinds of pendulums, but we're going to look at a simple pendulum. If you have one thing hanging from one string or rope, and the weight of the string or rope is a lot less than the thing hanging at the end, that's a simple pendulum. The amount of time it takes for the thing at the end of the pendulum to go from one end to the other and back is called the period. With a simple pendulum, even if you change the height that it starts at, the period doesn't change by any noticeable amount. The period also doesn't change with the weight of the object. No matter how much it weighs, you get pretty much the same period. With a simple pendulum, all you need to calculate the period is just the length of the string. And there's a formula for figuring out the period from the length of the string. But we don't have to know exactly what that formula is. We can just use Google to find a formula calculator. For my pendulum, the length of the string is about 25 centimeters, and gravity is of about 10 meters per second squared, and that gives us a period of about one second. I'm using NTSC, so one second translates to 30 frames. To set up my initial animation here, I just set a keyframe every 15 frames at each end of the swing. So it takes 30 frames to swing out and come back to where it started. Here is the animation, and it doesn't look quite right. Let's take a look at my animation on top of the reference video. You can see that the real pendulum actually hovers around the highest points for about 3 frames, or 10% of the total period of 30 frames. So what we'll do is split each keyframe into two keyframes with a frame in between that has no key on it. And now the pendulum will hover for three keyframes at each end. Next, I'm going to adjust my interpolation curves to make the curve a little more pointy. I can do this by just adjusting my interpolation handles. And this gives us an animation curve that swoops down fast in the middle, just like the pendulum motion. Here is the animation that I get from this, which is a lot more accurate than the first animation I showed you. And when I scrub it over my reference footage, the motion matches pretty closely. Now if you follow these steps for any simple pendulum, you'll get some pretty decent motion. Then you can just do tweaks after that to adjust your motion to the way you want it to be, whether you want it more exaggerated or more realistic. And lastly, let's see how this type of motion is used in a classic animation. Hey, shrimp, get an eye full of this. It's a real wind to clear. You don't. You look like a monkey on a string to me. Pardon me. Oh, hey, I'm hanging out.